Pacific Crest Trail. Have a pot noodle. We're running to Canada and back. There's a chance if I go on the road, someone will pick me up. It, uh, lesson number one. There is water. Through hiking Hotel Prius. I'm running around the world, heading west, chasing the sunset. Right now I'm on a side quest, running north, along the Pacific Crest Trail, which I joined in Los Angeles, and I'm now running to Canada and back. Because in this chapter of the journey, I'll be using my Hotel Prius to give me flexibility to come and go from the trail as I please. The only problem with this luxury option is that I must run both north and south to get back to my car, repark the car, run ahead, run back again, repark the car, and so on. You'll see. What is up there, ladies and gentle monkeys? I'm juice doing it. Juice do it. Pacific Crest Trail, hey? It has an epic vibe to it. The feeling is like many people have gone from Canada to Mexico or Mexico to Canada on this very, you know, winding crest trail. It literally goes along the crest of the mountain. I've come from a town way down there and come along this mountain crest. That's the best word for it. Pacific Crest Trail. I can see the trail heads off along that way. It goes up and over the other side, whatever goes up that way. I think that's north. I started, let me zoom in, somewhere around there, there was a few buildings and a road. Of course, I parked the car. Hotel Prius is there somewhere. I can see my hotel from here. And then I've gone along this crest of the mountain and come into this trail here. Boop, boop. And then I've come up this one. This is kind of grassy up here. There's not many trees. I mean, when I say not many, I mean there's none. I've seen one tree in two hours. And it's that one there. So if I was needing to sleep up here with my hammock. I mean, possibly I could tie into this tree, but there's no, I haven't got two, I need two trees for a hammock. So we're heading back down now. I'd love to keep going, but uh, I've got to go back to Los Angeles, you know, like I'm not, not going to Canada right now. <laughs> I might just let you run along with me for a bit, give you my, POV run. It's gonna be fun because it's downhill. I've done all the hard work getting up here. So this should be fun. See, you are part of an equation and you are needed. Part of why we should begin to look at how we give up our lives and that we've got to begin to see what is it that I'm supposed to do? What is my life work? and then give ourselves to that because as we do that ladies and gentlemen i guarantee you as you begin to take on this new era that we're in if you decide that i'm going to begin to start living life i'm going to start giving more of myself i'm going to start putting out more contributing more to life here's what's going to happen ladies and gentlemen i guarantee you that life will take on a whole new meaning for you i guarantee you that life takes on a whole new dimension that you'll be happier you have a greater sense of happiness and fulfillment in life that now you will begin to take off on some new paths to some new horizons that you'll begin to see life totally different than most people. Sometimes you have to back up and go within 
and pray and meditate and recharge your batteries. Go away, clear your head, and then come back and look at it from a different vantage point. Don't operate while you're under the spell or the effect of what's going on. Some of the best shooters can't hit baskets different times in games. They get in a slump. Do they sit on the sideline and say, you know, I just didn't hit a basket today? No, they continue to execute. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy, work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Continue to move, stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. All righty then, we're on the PCT, Pacific Crest Trail. I'm going to leave these guys some water. While I was running, I thought, wait, I have loads of water. And I know how valuable this will be to someone who's dehydrated. They're hiking for miles. They've got miles more to go. They're not sure whether they should carry water. If they discover this, they can drink it through a life straw or bee free bottle or... Uh, you know, any kind of cleaning, uh, water cleaner. Two gallons will come in handy. They'll be able to make rice, oats, uh, have a big drink, you know, cook something up, have a pot noodle. <laughs> I'm kind of bigging them up a little bit. Yo, PCT crew. These are the through hikers. They're like the heroes of the trail. These I remember, these I remember, these. This is the memory leaving on the bottom Don't get old, don't judge people Because you can't be free if you just be love now Alrighty then, this gives you an idea of where we are We basically started here, this Agua Dulce 10 miles ago, over there Mexico, if we went all the way to the beginning, would have been 465 to me it's not necessary to through hike the entire thing i would have to drive 465 miles the wrong way to begin and then i would have to run back here to where i already am just to get back to baseline zero it doesn't make sense to me i'm just noticing these waters on the floor i imagine this is uh through hiker water. I will probably leave some waters for people there. This is one of those moments where the road crosses the trail. So I've put my car there. And the trail goes off this way. I'll put a map on the screen so you can kind of see what's going on. Where we are. I would like to say I'll get to that green valley, but it's already late. It's going to go dark soon. It's 5 p.m. I spent forever getting this belt packed up. Basically, it's taken an entire day to get ready. Ooh, what is that? Is that a little through hiker box? I've just seen a little box. Supplies or dead bodies? Yeah. Message me if empty. Resupply. Wow. Look at these little gas cans. That is awesome. <laughs> Basically, it's all empty. I'll be leaving some water there. Those gas cans are more small than mine. They're more minimalist, tiny little cans. I like them. Oh, there's water there. <laughs> Lesson number one, there is water. I'm carrying this big blob of water here. Maybe I don't need it. To be true to yourself, are you getting what you need out of it? And be upfront with people and tell them what you need from them. Don't assume that they know. Don't say, I thought you knew. No, tell people up front. Here's what I need from this in order for this to work for me. Be up front with your stuff. Tell them up front so they're not surprised later on. So your feelings aren't hurt later on. See, if they tell you up front they can't do it, now you know you can keep on stepping. But tell people up front, here's what I want. In order for me to play this game with you, if we're gonna dance, 
This is what I got to get out of it. See, if you don't take care of your needs, guess what? You will always have that nagging song in the back of your mind say, well, when do I get mine? When am I going to start enjoying this? Are we going to have a good time together? Do I get any utils out of this at all? You're going to start asking that question. Everybody's happy having a good time, but you? They say, well, we thought you were happy. How could you think that? Well, you weren't saying anything. Well, I'm saying something now. Hope you got that. Next thing is avoid people and situations that upset you. Hello? <laughs> See, there's some people that know just how to push your button. They know just what to say. So, you know what? I don't even deal with them. I just avoid, excuse me. Hey, if, um, I want to talk about something. I understand, excuse me. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> now, you might call that cowardly. But I'm not going to expend any energy arguing with anybody. Life is too short, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to spend my time arguing with anybody. So I avoid situations that will get me upset. I don't argue with people. I can't grow from that. If you're persistent in saying those kind of things to me, I'm saying to you right now, I won't tolerate that. And I will terminate this because I'm not going to expose myself to this type of humiliation. I don't like that. I don't like getting called in names and putting each other down. I don't like that. Come back, tell me I'm sorry. No, that won't get it. So you put a nail in a hole, you make that impression, you pull the nail out, that mark is still there. That's not for God. We can't strike that from the record. So don't don't say that to me. All right, then. It's getting dark. This here is a road, it's a road, a dirt road that crosses the trail. So I'm going to use this to get off the trail, get on the road. Something I haven't really explained yet is that I have to keep running back to the car. I'm not just running in one direction. I don't want to go back along the trail the way I came. There's a chance if I go on the road, someone will pick me up, save me some time and energy, getting all the way back, and then I'll move the car on to the next spot. That's the cunning plan. Don't know how it's all going to work. This is a kind of test run, trial run, reconnaissance mission. Just sort of figuring it out one step at a time. Clearly this isn't the kind of road I can bring the Prius up. I was going to, you know, drive back here and continue. So I guess I can't do that. Alrighty then, we've reached the road. I know you can't see much, but look, boom, that is a road. I have eaten some cliff bar and the little baby bananas. That was yummy. Makes me want to dehydrate my own bananas. I could do that myself at home. And now we walk this road. Well, I'll probably run. I'm just walking because I was hungry. Refueling. I just told myself when I reach the road, then I can celebrate by having something to eat, have a little walk, have a rest, refuel, pit stop, pit stop on the move. I don't stop, stop. I put my jacket on, I was getting cold. It's a little bit rainy, misty, windy. I've got my gloves on. I'm gonna run just cause I'm impatient. If I see a car, I'll put my thumb up. If they stop, I'll be sure to try and film it, 9 p.m. Might just be down to me and my own steam to get back to the car. It, uh, it's much safer to run on the road in the dark because you know the ground is flat. Plus it sucks to go back the way you came. You don't want to do that. That's it. I can see my car. My legs are sore. We've been on the move. About 
about four hours. And I'm happy to see Hotel Prius. Yeah, buddy. Boom. No cars passing by were any help whatsoever, so thank you for that. Bye. We don't need your help. My body is my machine. Oh, yes. Looking yummy. This is the end. I'm going to get my life back. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Good night. Good night. So now you shit it. Latest news, latest news. I just pulled into town and I got a phone signal. And sure enough, there's a 24 hour fitness. It's a 25 minute drive, but that's only time, isn't it? 25 minutes isn't much. And I'm gonna have a nice hot shower. Not just cold, I'm gonna do hot. I'm achy, I'm sore, I feel dirty. The benefits outweighed the 25 minutes there, 25 minutes back. Rejuvenating, refreshing experience. The luxury, a luxury benefit that most through hikers would never have. My video is uploading 72% through hiking Hotel Prius. Yeah! We're running to Canada and back. Because every time I run somewhere, I have to run back to the car. So I think I deserve a little pampering at the uh, gym. Hello. All right, darling. Cassette. Boy. Cassette. Boy. Cassette. Boy. Cassette. Boy. I had always hoped to see this in my lifetime. I'm hobbling along. Hobbling. Hobble, 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 hobbling, seizing up a little bit. My hip, it's always like this. All right, we are on a mission. The mission is to get clean and warm and stop hobbling. My hip and my groin muscles seem to take most of the stress and the strain. <laughs> Whoa there! Get the clutter out. Start letting some of this junk go to make some room for something else. Do that with people. There's some people who's cluttering up your life. They serve no purpose whatsoever. They're just holding and occupying the space that somebody useful, positive, nurturing, and contributing could be holding that space. You don't even have time to look to see what else is out there because you all have all of these people surrounding you that's not in enabling you to grow. So look at what is it I need to get out of my life. Just start cleaning this stuff out. See, whatever you have in your environment is a reflection of your consciousness. So you got all that chaos there. That represents some disorganized, cluttered section of your mind. So let's get all this out of there, all right? Work to get that out, clean that up. Wow, I feel so much better. That was like the best choice the best thing I could have done look I can move I feel like good again stretchy I was hobbling in here wasn't I I was like that uh, uh, I feel so much better thank you stretching helped but also what I did was I rolled around on a weight like on a barbell or dumbbell Basically, you could do it with a tennis ball or a cricket ball or a baseball or any lumpy thing. You could probably do it with an apple. But I just wriggled around. It's basically a massage is what it is. Self-massage. But instead of using my hands, you use a lumpy thing. And it feels great. I'm so happy about that. I almost was like, no, don't drive all that way. Just 
go to bed in the car all creaky and dirty and dusty and bleh, and seize up and then try and unseize in the morning. Now I feel like ping! Ready to go again. Let's go! Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow! <laughs>